New here at 6 o'clock, this iconic and beloved mural in Cambridge is now in jeopardy. That's because the building that it's on may be torn down. Yeah, and the owners may not decide to keep it. WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us how the community is now working to protect the art. When you pass something so often, it's easy to forget its meaning. It's like their voices echo through the years and, and tell their stories. Be it a grandmother, be it a drummer. The people represented here are actually local people who have lived here at the time. And it's just a great place that exhibits a lot of ethnic diversity. For 30 years, the mural outside the famed Middle East Club has sat as a staple of Central Square. It's their sitgo sign. This is my neighbor, Vincent Watson and his daughter Amanda. Unfortunately, Vincent passed away. Jeffrey Dunn photographed the people in the mural for the artist to recreate. Luis was a very special, special boy. He passed away in grade school. His teacher from 29 years ago, his kindergarten teacher, walks up Brookline Street and, and looks at that and remembers him. Only his face may only be up there for so long. The Middle East is being redeveloped into a hotel and restaurant space. Many of us feel that the mural should be preserved as part of that change. Muralist David Fichter is spearheading the push. He spoke with a developer at a public meeting. We're not against the development. We're, we're, we just want to make sure the mural stays here. Whether that be preserving it in the new development or recreating it. Danielle, the artist I talked to him yesterday, is willing to come back and repaint the mural in some form. The building is owned by Nabil and Joseph Satter. You can see them right here in the mural. Dunn went inside the venue to talk with Nabil, but he didn't come out to comment on the story. I hope that it can be saved. Before the memories locked in these walls vanish. There's a guy who's on roller skates. They call him Dr. Love. In Central Square, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. So much emotion tied into the mural, and the fact that the artist says, I'll come back and recreate it, do it again, seems like there may be some wiggle room to get this done. No question. I can't tell you how many times I've passed it, yeah. and I didn't know some of those stories, so I appreciate it all the more now. Very special.